Libra, this is your weekly reading. This is a general reading. So if it resonates for you, there will be an extended at the end. And in the extended, I'm going to go over timeline, advice, blockages, things you're not seeing, and answer three yes or no questions. Uh, don't forget to hit the subscribe button because then you'll get notified all things Libra. And if it doesn't resonate with you, then I highly recommend you checking out your moon rising and Venus signs. If your sun sign doesn't resonate with you, you might be on the vibration of one of those other zodiac signs. So it's important to check those out. And that goes for all tarot readers, not just me. I'll pull some oracle cards and we'll hop right into your tarot reading. Okay, Libra. Wandering path, enjoy the journey. Rejuvenating rain, clear the past, heal the present. Overcoming obstacles, you can overcome anything and what you're not seeing. Answering the call, the time is now. There's something that's difficult. Um, I feel like there's like something that is going through this clear the past, heal the present, is it in this overcoming obstacles. This is about finding what's actually going on. It's like, okay, you know, you're sitting here and you're like, you know what? Why is the situation always the same? Why do I always feel this way? For example, the best analogy I can give is for years from the time I was really little until probably like, gosh, close to my 20s, Meh, I was probably a teenager. When the sun would set or like dusk would come in, I would get this like awful feeling. Like it, it just icky, um, negative, guilty, bad. Um, like I was, like the, it was the end of the day and it got dark and it was like I had done, I felt like I had done something wrong and. It was just this very uncomfortable feeling every time the sun would set for the majority of my life. I reached a certain age. I was probably close to 20. I was probably close to 20. And I was like, at what point am I going to stop feeling bad about that? Like, I, I, I'm an adult now. I There's no reason. I know that there's no reason that I should feel bad that the sun is setting. So why do I feel bad? And so I was like, you know what? I'm not going to feel bad about this anymore. Like, I didn't do anything. I'm an adult. Like, I'm not going to do this. And I haven't felt bad about the sun setting since. And I feel like that's what's going on is, like, you're coming into that realization of, do I have to feel bad about this? Do I have to have this feeling towards this? Like, at what point am I going to let it go? I'm going to lay the tarot cards down, and then I'll go over them. Ten of Wands, it's exactly what I'm saying right here is like holding the burdens of yesterdays, holding the burdens of other people, of, you know, feeling bad, feeling obligated to take other people's problems and put them on your shoulders. And, you know, if somebody doesn't finish their job, it's like you have to go behind them and you have to pick up the pieces and finish the job and make sure that it's done correctly. This world card has been coming out a lot. This is the end of a cycle. Six of Cups, again, you know, like this might have been something that you've been thinking about or doing ever since you were little. And like, I don't have to feel bad about that anymore. Like, why am I allowing myself to feel bad about that? Why am I allowing myself to have these like thoughts or this negativity? It's like, at, at what point are you going to stop feeling bad about that? Two of Swords, you're resisting. It was almost like you were in denial or you were in like a set cycle, but it was like you were resisting maturing. You were resisting moving on. You, it, it's interesting because I'm sitting here and I've kind of had like the same scenario with my Libra son. Like we're always in the same cycle. It's like he gets mad, he, you know, takes it out on me and then I yell at him and then he gets mad and he takes it out on me and like... He doesn't want to go to school or he doesn't want to do something or he doesn't want to go to bed or he has an issue or his hair is messed up. It's like he takes it out on me like I am his scapegoat and it's exhausting and it's tiresome and it's like I'm coming into that realization like maybe I should have this conversation with him. You know, like at what point are you going to stop feeling bad in like the whole sunset story? Like I feel like I'm going to discuss, I'm probably going to discuss it with him today actually. And I feel like 
I feel like that's what's going on is like you're resisting moving on and resisting healing and forgiving and finding love and compassion in those situations. At what point are you going to stop feeling bad about something? So one, two, there's two major arcana. The overall energy is the sun. So there's three major arcana, the queen of cups and the high priestess. It's this connection with yourself, this deep connection, you know, empathy, compassion, sympathy for the past and acceptance and um, love and realization for the, the future right now. It's like the acceptance of the fact that you're not going to have all the answers right now. The acceptance of the fact that you're not going to be able to answer all questions right now. Acceptance of the fact that, you know, you might be 38 and you're not going to find out why you had to go through all of this trauma and all of these issues and all of this stuff until you're like 73. You know, it's like, but it is also understanding that you have the choice to be happy even in difficult situations. You know, there are people that have gone through trauma and terrible, awful things and living your life to the best of the ability, like people who have purposely attacked other people or assaulted other people or insulted or verbally attacked, physically attacked or all of that, they are looking for you to take those situations and to put them on your shoulders and to carry those situations with you wherever you go. Like, they want you to do that. They want you to feel bad about those situations. And by accepting what happened, accepting the physical abuse, accepting the trauma, accepting all of that, and taking it and putting it into the past, and centering yourself and realizing who it is that you want to be from here on out, and being happy even though those things happen to you, that happiness kills the spirit of the people that were trying to hurt you. People that purposely attack or bully or insult, they, it is obvious. Like, you need to wake up. People that do these things, it is obvious that they have such low self-respect and low self-esteem and low self-confidence that they have, like, misery likes company. They are so miserable. They need you to meet them at their misery by holding on to these traumas, by holding on to these memories, by holding on to these situations. You are allowing that person to live with you day in and day out until you decide to let it go. They, they don't care what's going on. Like they know that they have wounded you emotionally or spiritually and that wound is bleeding everywhere. And you're allowing it to bleed instead of stitching it up and letting it heal, reliving that moment, going back to the way that you feel about that. Your thoughts, your physical body does not understand if you are thinking about something or if it is actually happening. So every time you remember that situation, every time you relive that situation, you are purposely wounding yourself. The, the situation has done it over with. And the time has come for you to let it go. Because if you don't let it go, you're going to stay wounded. You're going to resist your healing. You're going to resist moving on. You're going to resist stepping into this peaceful environment. Finding your happiness. Okay, Libra. In the extended, I am going to clarify these major arcana. I'm going to go over timeline, advice, blockages, things you're not seeing, and answer three yes or no questions. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button because then you'll get notified when I upload Libra readings. And a couple of videos are going to pop up here. If the titles resonate for you, I highly recommend you check them out. And I will see you over there.